Hi guys, excuse my creaking chair. It's Pam from the Shoots with Roots program at Miller Gardens and Woodland. And this is the first of a weekly field trip that I'm going to be doing for all of other people that are missing their actual Shoots with Roots field trips. Now, today's April 1st, 2020, and April Fools, we're not going outside for this field trip. Some of us are really lucky and we have access to nature easily outside of our houses right now. Some of us can't really easily get outdoors because we either have to stay inside or we just live in an area where it's crowded and not super easy to get to a park. So today's field trip is to your kitchen, my kitchen. And since it's April Fool's Day, I thought we might think about seeds because it's the first one, and that's how plants start, but also about how seeds are sneaky. Now, I have a book here that I was gonna read to you guys, and this is called A Seed is Sleepy. It's by Diana Hutz Aston, and it's illustrated by Sylvia Long. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower, on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug, still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. A seed is fruitful. 90% of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. A seed is naked. <gasps> yes, naked. Scientists call gymnosperms, seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. So if you guys remember the Douglas fir cones from our mouse story, those are an example of a naked seed. These are redwoods from California. There's not a Douglas fir tree on this page. I kind of wish there was. Seeds come in many sizes. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. We're all looking for less crowded places right now, aren't we? Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float, and their thick protective shells keep out seawater. A seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed might leap from its pod, cling to a child's shoestring, the burrs. Has this ever happened to you where it gets stuck on your shoe? Or tumble through a bear's belly. There's a red huckleberry. We have those in the forest in Milner Gardens. And the way those seeds travel is by tricking bears into eat them. And then the seeds travel in the belly of the bear until the bear poos. A seed is generous. The embryo's first meal comes from its seed leaves or cotyledons. So here's the little baby plant. And all of this inside is food for the little baby plant. It gives the baby plant or embryo a seed coat to keep it warm. And that's the outside of the seed. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree after it was unearthed from a long-ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel, a scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. A seed is clever. It knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, up, up through the soil, but it must wait a while before that happens. A seed is sleepy. 
but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then the seed is awake. Now, that book doesn't talk about seeds being sneaky, but they are. And you know what, guys? This isn't an April Fool's joke. I'll bet if you go into your kitchen, you will find a lot of seeds hiding in your house. I've gone through my kitchen today, and I'm gonna show you just a few of the seeds that I found. Some of these seeds were hiding in plain sight in my spice cupboard. Sesame seeds, cumin seeds, and mustard seeds. Those were easy, because they're labeled. Some other seeds were fairly easy to find because I've grown them in the garden. These dried beans are seeds for bean plants. Some of the seeds were a little bit trickier, like this rice. The rice that we eat is a seed for a rice plant, but a lot of the time, some of these seeds in our kitchen, like the white rice right here, has been processed and changed a little bit by people. So even though this is a seed, if we planted this kind of rice, it wouldn't actually grow. If you planted the brown rice, it still has that protective seed coat on it, it might. I found more rice. I found quinoa. I found more beans. I found cardamom pods. And I found some things that I wasn't sure about. I found cloves in my spice cupboard. And I thought they might be seeds, but when I looked at them, when I looked at these guys, I realized, you know, that looks a little more like a flower bud to me. So I googled it, and sure enough, those cloves, they aren't seeds. They're flower buds from a flowering plant called a clove tree. Go figure. So I have found, gosh, I think about 15 different kinds of seed in my kitchen. So this is your challenge for this week. I want you guys to go on a seed hunt in your own kitchen. Ask your parents permission first. A lot of families are cleaning out their cupboards right now, so this might work really, really well. And, um, you know, one of the seeds I found was actually because I was cleaning out my cupboard and I found some tamarind pods. Look at that from a recipe I made years ago. And sure enough, when I dug into there, into this seed pod, and I went into uh, that pasty coating, I found a little, well, it's not gonna cooperate, but you're gonna have to trust me there was a seed in there. So once you've gone through your cupboards, you're gonna make a seed collection. If you have an egg carton in your kitchen, you can use that, and your challenge is to see if you can fill an egg carton with different seeds from your kitchen. You can maybe see right here, sorry about my bad camera work, that I found 12 different kinds of seeds that's the tamarind seed, right? Right there, that brown one, that's the tamarind seed. And I even went ahead and labeled this so that I could see what all of the different seeds are. So that's your challenge. Head into your kitchen, yeah? And uh, go see how many seeds you can find. If you do end up labeling them and putting them in an egg carton, I'd love to see some photos of that. So you can talk to your parents about maybe sharing those photos on the Shoots With Roots Facebook page. Have fun in your uh, kitchen field trip today and be safe and be kind. And I'll see you guys in a week. Bye everybody.